You've now received the cochlear implant, and this video will explain what to expect after your surgery. You're going to wake up with a cup dressing, which can be removed the day after surgery. Your incision will have some sticky tape on top. You should leave that alone and let it fall off on its own. You may shower two days after the surgery and wash your hair like normal. Try not to scrub the incision. It is normal to feel sore or swollen near the incision site. Some people also experience numbness. It is also normal to feel headache, hear popping or clicking noises in the ear. Some people feel dizzy after the surgery, which should go away as time passes. Things may taste funny or different. Again, this will go away after a few weeks. You may return to work after about three to five days but you shouldn't play sports or do anything strenuous for about two weeks. You may fly again six weeks after surgery. Tell your doctor if problems such as new or worse pain, bleeding, or an incision that comes open. And call your doctor if bright red blood soaks through the bandage that doesn't stop with pressure over 10 minutes. Now there's one more thing to watch for after a cochlear implant. Call your doctor right away if you see signs of meningitis. The signs include a high fever, a headache, a stiff neck, feeling sick to the stomach or vomiting, having trouble looking at bright lights, and sleepiness or confusion. This is very rare, but if you experience several of these symptoms, call your doctor or go to the emergency room immediately. About three to six weeks after your cochlear implant, once the incision has healed, the audiologist will turn on the implant. You should have received another dose of the Pneumovax vaccine to prevent meningitis, either immediately after the surgery in the recovery unit or at your primary care doctor's office at the next available follow-up.